good afternoon everyone. We are still in Kuda and we're still on Poppies 2. But today, where are we going? We are going to the famous Garlic Lane and a few other surprises, Bali Kema and another place with some awesome, genuine fake. Awesome genuine fakes, it's funny but... Bali fakes, Bali genuine. How far is Garlic Lane from here? I think about two minutes on the scooter, yeah. not far. It is literally straight down the road, that way. Alright, zipping up and down these little laneways just makes life really, really easy to fly through on a bike. The problem is, a lot of cars riding driving up and down there sometimes. Anyway, almost here. We're still on our way to Garlic Lane, I promise. But <laughs> it's hitting lunchtime, and Mish? This Coco Warong is always packed. Um, Garlic Lane is across the road. This could be a really good, cheap, but good Warong. Fingers crossed, let's check it out. We're doing the leg work just for you. And then let's go do some shopping. Yay. All right, so let's have a look here. Mishy is about to eat a pizza. $6.50, $6, $5 dollars oh, Mexican, $8.50, Test subject, Nazi, $6.50. And I'm looking here, happy hour cocktails, just they're six dollars each. One of my tips is I look through the cocktail list and there's always one or two there that use two or three spirits rather than the cocktails that use one spirit. I know it's cheap. I just go for what I like. She goes for what she likes, I go, I, I go for what's strong. Hey, you all know I don't drink on. This is my chop chai, which is um, okay, thank you. beautiful chicken broth. So what have we got here, Mitch? There we go, some 10,000 celebrations. One dollar. One dollar. Oh, it's thick and creamy. That is really good. So have you been coming to Bali and you're a bit worried about food and you're sticking to the usual nazi goreng as some people do. He's Don't? He's talking about me. Possibly. Don't be scared of chop chai, or well, it's spelled C A P C A Y, it's cap K, but it's chop chai. And it is an amazing local dish. It's full of vegetables, it's flavoursome. Not spicy. Not spicy at all, although you can get it spicy if you, if you want, but it's always fresh. And I have like it. the chicken soup. Yeah, like I have the it. chicken vegetable soup. Yeah. I have it all the time, try chuck chai. It's not as big as I thought it would be. Another one I miss you to go to is you've seen her eat them before, a chicken burrito or a chicken wrap. Our experience so far, mm. always good. We're going to finish eating now, we'll give you the price when we leave. Ready Mish? Yes. Let's go. That was lovely. Let's head to Garlic Lane. So realistically, how was your meal? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed yeah. it. I yeah. recommend it. Yeah, so did I. Look, total cost was $18. If you go to that place, you've got to remember one thing though, that it is cash only. I guess yes. that's one of the benefits of cash only sometimes, no plus plus. All right, so we're across the road here now. We're heading into Garlic Lane. And there it is down there. Now the thing to remember about Garlic Lane, it's actually not called Garlic Lane. It's just its nickname. And if we think about it from a historical perspective, I believe it was nicknamed Garlic Lane because they used to store spices up and down this lane. So here we go, look, um, the stalls, they start instantly. Some really nice ones here. And we'll have a look at them, but what we're here to look at mainly today is just something different for us. Really, oh, these pillows are really nice. You know what, you could buy one and use it as a travel pillow on the way home. The Bali Kmart is just here. Okay. Right here. So but let, let's go. Oh, look, there are stalls down there as well, which I didn't even know. This is a sign here. It's actually called Miss Debbie's Bali Kmart. There we go. So just in perspective, you can miss this very easily. There's a corner. We've just turned down. Always be careful because these are roads. 
first laneway on the left. I believe these shops are fixed price as well. Yeah, look, there we go. Shop Katut, fixed price. How much? $8. Awesome price. Here we go. So, Miss Derby Bali Kmart. Oh, Derby Debbie. Oh, the art studio here. Doubling as a garage. Keep going. We'll see if there's anything different inside from everything else that we see on the streets. <laughs> oh, look, they've got like a little Instagram love heart if you want to sit down. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. You don't need to go to the rice fields anymore. Oh, you don't even need to <laughs> so go to the Save you a six hour trip. You just stay here. Miss, you want to jump in it? Go on, jump. Can you climb up? <laughs> Sit in there. There we go. Ooh. Get in. <laughs> Whee! <Yeah. laughs> All right, let's go in. Okay, nice entrance. Now, hopefully, this is somewhere where you can browse and not stress about the prices because they're all fixed prices so anyway let's go okay so we may need to buy some luggage so let's have a look at the luggage huh? oh you know what this is the first place i've seen with a lot of luggage since oh, so good if you don't if you don't have room and you just like a pillow case can you buy a pillow when you get home from the real Kmart? Stick it in. Travel stuff. Now, I've seen this everywhere, and to bargain it to get $20, $20 is a headache. Yeah, but $20, okay. and they're usually just the material ones. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that's not real leather, but... No. I wonder how much that is. Be better if there was prices on it, but anyway. Let's... Oh, there's so much stuff here, I don't think they can prices on everything. Yeah, true. These are cool. These are very yeah. original. <laughs> Minko, genuine fake from Bali. <laughs> Here are all the tote bags. You've got Chloe, you've got Mimco, Mark Jacobs. Beautiful. Looks great. All these small bags you've seen on the streets everywhere. Have a look. Yeah, these are cute. Seeing them also on the street. But if you keep looking, you might see something that you haven't seen on the street. So let's keep going. Christian Dior. Beautiful, sparkly. Oh, again, bigger bags here. Bags galore, bags galore. Perfumes, perfumes. Now, actually, I wanted to know how much they cost, but I can't see it. I can't see the price. Um, $130,000 for $13. I think that might be the same for all of them. I guess that's the beauty of these fixed prices. Out in the streets, that perfume, they start at, you know, $40 and you negotiate down to 10 Here it's fixed price and it starts at 13 and 13 it is. No, oh, I wouldn't have paid more than $10 for that um, cup of tea with some flavour in it. Not original. How much are the sunglasses? Uh, 200 Okay, 200 one, uh, $5. $5? Yeah. Oh, $2.00 and $5.00. Awesome. Oh, wow, that's nice. Everything hanging on Decorations, homewares, yeah, yeah, yeah. kites. Oh, look at these. There's some coasters here. Christmas decorations. Oh, look, they've even got Christmas decorations here. Oh, look at these shelves. What a knickknacks that you may not find out in the street. Come oh, here, I'm a recurring pattern here. Sam, these are more homewares. If you table want, runners um, here. Bags. Look, table runners. This is a place look. to come. Oh, I mean, That's nice, table, table runners. runners. Like yeah. statues. You know what? I'm going to show you because they're really nice. Some mirrors. Oh, remember I was negotiating about a mirror? This is cute. Look at this. That's cute. Oh, it really is. That is 120. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Some more. It's actually good to see because I've got no idea what woodwork costs here in Bali because I've really never stopped to ask. These are great. I reckon you could fit these in a big suitcase, just Look at straight these across the holders. top. Take it home. Nice white ones. Oh, Look at these white ones. They're nice. 
These are lovely. We've seen them in the streets. I don't know how much they cost here. Yeah, they flat. would fit packed flat in your suitcase as well. Yeah, black. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. The bonsais. All right, where's so Mitch? Sam, I'm done. I was just chatting with that lady and she was saying that she had a big bag of stuff. And um, she went to another couple of fixed price places. So yeah. fixed price places are somewhere that people would prefer to go, the fixed price places, because it's less stress, yeah. even if they do pay a couple of bucks more. Well, you've seen in previous videos how I get really just worn Frust out, frustrated by the constant, you know, having to, you know, negotiate backwards and forwards. So much easier. You see people's faces coming out of fixed price shops and you've actually enjoyed the shopping. There were some things that I haven't seen on the street and often we're scared to go in because once you go in and look around then you get attacked and jumped yeah, on yeah. and that so usually I just see the front of the shop and, I, and I'm too nervous to go in whereas this you can just stroll around that's why I saw extra things. Awesome. All right let's go check out Sabrina's. It is a Hi. fixed price store that has a lot of good high quality fake so sabrina's is a left hand turn <laughs> and of course the jewelry in here which is unique i haven't seen this type of stuff Check. you go in yes looks beautiful hello. in here hello hello, hello. hello. how are you thanks Really nice in here. Bam, bamboo? Yes, bamboo silver. Bamboo silver? Yes. That's lovely. There was a time where I wore only silver, but now I wear gold. Sometimes silver. Sometimes still silver. Yeah. I got gold plated here. Gold plated? Yeah. Oh, that's good. What a lovely shop. Awesome shop. Yeah. I love all this stuff here in the window. Yeah. Very unique. I'd love to wear some of that. Does that go all the way in? I think so. Well, this is Garlic Lane, so I'll this is very popular for shopping, just like Papa's wait? Rosemary Bar. No, let's check this little mall out. And of course, if you want leather, tailor made leather stuff or dresses, tailor made. Whoa, any pair of sunglasses you want. And of course for the Eastern Europeans that are here, it's these weird things that they wear. For everyone else. Good price, my friend. 25 each. Yeah. So because ten dollars is not enough, my yeah, honestly. So Twenty-five dollars each for these ones. And what did we just see it in the shop? Twelve. Okay, no, no. I do. That's okay, thank you. Runners? There you go. I love this. Husband daycare center. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> You're in the daycare center. Oh, look at them all. Look, the husbands. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> this is a one I should go and join them. <laughs> this looks like a good place. Billy's. Billy's. A lot of people in there, look. Yes, Billy's. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's a big call. I've been here several times and this does have premium quality and mirror quality fakes. Uh, there's a lot of bags and shoes, so if you are interested, come and have a look. It's not cheap, but if you want something a good quality fake, come this way. Oh, is it a bar here on the left too? Oh. Kind of. I've seen these dog beds with the names on it, so you can get your dog's name on the bed and a lot of awesome bean bags. Again, you probably get them empty, take them home and then fill them up. So this Sabrina. is why we've come down this laneway to look at a place called Sabrina Collection Store. Where are you from? I'm from Flores. Flores Island, you know? Flores. Oh, yes, 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 we're in a Flores, yeah, <laughs> lovely. Yeah, beautiful. How long have you been in Bali? Uh, maybe 10 years. You got married someone yeah. from Bali. Yeah. Oh. Are these yeah. your children or your children? My baby boy. Your baby, your baby boy. Very Hello. cute. Hello. Hello, Hello. 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 How are you? Good. 
<laughs> I've been here many times. So <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's okay. We won't film you eating. You all right. So Sam is the expert on shoes. <gasps> Sam, no, not really. you've got all different shoes. I, that I do you like dress shoes more. Home. You like runners. So if you are in the market for some high quality fakes, first there's premium and there's mirror quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and of course they've got female dress shoes as well. All different designer labels. Chloe, Dior, uh, Valentino, Chanel. Mm. Have a look. One of these ladies love love slides. They're very popular. These are travel shoes. I've seen a lot of people wearing these travel shoes. I think those travel shoes are butt f ugly, but um, each to their own. Okay. It's a bit harsh. Have a look here. Thirty-five. All right, so I've got, I've got a few prices for you, Sam. Yeah. So thirty-five for the sunglasses. It's Chanel. Um, you know what? You can go to a shop, a Chanel shop, or a Prada shop, or anywhere, and you could not tell the difference. So thirty-five. Now these were seventy-five. Now these are premium quality. It's not mirror quality, but these are nice. But they're seventy-five, so it's not cheap. And these were forty dollars. These cute little mint co runners. Okay. Forty dollars. So how much? How much are the, the these? The Gucci's. These are premium. Yeah. I don't know, but there are mirror copies of this. So let's have a look at the mirror. One million eight hundred. One hundred. Hundred and eighty dollars. So in the glass cabinets, these are mirror quality. And there's some jewelry here. You can have a look here and bags. So of course you're gonna be paying 80 to 100 dollars probably for the, for the mirror quality and then a bit cheaper for the premium quality. And some scarves here. I've had friends buy scarves. They're nice from here. Wow, the shop is pretty cool. Ah, wow. Alexander McQueen. These are nice. How much are these, Dali? I've been looking for a black boot. That is LV, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, Louis Vuitton. I wasn't this 180? Even, I wasn't What's this one? How much this one? Two million. You know what? I like it, but I know when I go home, I can go to Myers and I can get, you know, top quality for 240 Leather. real. So am I going to pay $200 for this? I mean, you're just paying for the... I, and I don't know LV. about how it's going to wear or what it's going to do. So. But if you're looking for Louis well, Vuitton if, if boot, you, want, yeah. and you yeah. can't afford the real thing, that's great. This was an awesome experience. Yeah. This place is great. I recommend coming to Sabrina's for sure. Yeah. And My brother would lose his mind in here. Shall we? Now, where are we going? Actually, okay. I had another place on my list. Yeah? Come to Kenzo oh, Laundry baby, baby here. Chef. Kenzo Laundry. Yeah, Come and Kenzo. get your clothes done. How much and is it for you? Euro. How much? 25,000 one kilo. One and way. when do you get Give it back? Give me a phone, I'll type it. The next day, Wait. one day. Bye, bye ladies. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Bye, bye. Bye. You too. Bye. bye. This cameras and electronic stuff as well, headphones. Beach stuff, boom box for the beach. Oh Sam, they've got uh, mobile holders. What's this? Have you got one for the scooter? Yes, metal. Still, yeah. the metal. One. You put yeah. in the mirror. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Like this. That's seven dollars. Definitely after one. I think you should buy it, huh? Yeah, 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 definitely. All right, just bought my uh, phone holders from there. I can't wait to use them. They're really strong and sturdy and made of metal. They're hard to find back home. Now we're exiting the street. I missed left. The street goes on. If you go to the very end of the street, turn left, turn right. The shopping just continues. It's amazing. Come here and have a ball. If you want to go shopping in Bali, two places you have to go a must. First is Poppy's Lane 2. And second is here, Garlic Lane. Stop for us is uh, back to the bike, which is across the road from that Warong. Then heading down the same street all the way back home to, what is it? 100%, 100% Genuine Fake Shop. We have just made our way to a place called the 100% Genuine Fake Shop. Literally a two minute ride from Garlic Lane. Seven minute walk, two minute ride. Is this it really? Yeah, this is it. Oh well, we're here now. It's full of Bintang t-shirts and Bintang hats. And... Let's have a look, go inside. Okay. That's $9? Yeah. So I did finally get that guy to $10 after haggling and haggling. Yeah. And the Kmart was 12. Kmart was 12. So this is cheaper. What else have we got in this shop? 
Miss, you want to try on a hat? I have not seen a pink editor. Try it on. Okay. It's small for me. These hats do look like they're good quality. How much are they? $5. There we go. Like I said, never ever pay more than $5 for a hat anywhere in Bali. Normal dresses on the street. And the bags, and, bags, okay, bags, bags. So there's bags. some footy shorts here. Standard um, singlet. There's, oh, there's a back section. <gasps> Balenciaga. Fake bracelets too. See some fake Cartier bracelets. Some with dimenties. The real thing is ten thousand dollars for one. Oh, what a pretty, what a pretty Dior hat. Here it is. How does that look? Looks like you're ready to go play polo. <laughs> oh, we got some watches. Actually, you know what? This shop is cool and relaxing. You can take your time shopping in here. Air conditioning, look at this, air conditioned. This is a win-win situation and the prices actually look pretty good. How much is this hat? Maybe. $19. Oh, what are, they, what are these? This is $40? Yeah, that's probably a bit expensive. Yeah, 20 everywhere else. So come here if you're looking for perfume. Otherwise, not that, not that great. And I'm done for the day. I actually want to see a sunset on Kuta Beach. Have a cocktail, maybe a frozen margarita. You know what? The things Michelle wants to do, I think you'll see that in the next clip. From Bali to you, signing out for today. And don't forget to like and subscribe our channel if you want to see us yeah, go around and show do. you more of our adventures. So carpe diem, everyone. See you today. Peace out.